Hi, this is Ashley Davis from helituning.com and we're here with the Align T-Rex 550E combo kit. Within this kit we've got the T-Rex 550E itself, the blades, servos, gyro, speed controller, motor, tail servo, pretty much everything you need to get the model airborne and working except a receiver. And I'm just going to have a bit of a dig through the box here and show you some of the new features on the T-Rex 550E. And this isn't going to be a very long video because the 550E is really just a scaled up T-Rex 500. Um, obviously there are a few new bits to it but for the most part it's just a scaled up T-Rex 500 so there's not a lot of new stuff here other than it's just bigger than the T-Rex 500. Okay, so I started out by pulling out the electronics from the kit just to show you what you get with the 550E. You get the new GP780 gyro here rather than the 750 that uh, was with the T-Rex 500 kits and this is the same gyro that's used internally to the 3G system except in a separate box and obviously it's just a single access rather than a three access gyro like the 3G system but this is effectively the same tail system as you get on a 3G uh, in a box of its own. There's the BL600M motor. This is the motor that they're now fitting to the T-Rex 600 ESP so they're powering the 6S, 6S T-Rex 600 with this motor so in the 550 this should be pretty powerful. In terms of servos you've got three DS610s here and a DS620 I'd have preferred to have seen the DS650 because that's a better servo than the 620 uh, but uh, you've, you've got the 620 in this kit. And lastly there's a brand new speed controller. This is the BL70G 70 amp 6S speed controller with a built-in BEC for the T-Rex 550E. It comes with uh, the connectors on one end and you've got to put your Dean's connector or bullet connectors on the other end. So that's the electronics. Okay, so I've just pulled out a few components from the kit here just to show you where there are differences and where it's the same. So in terms of it being the same and, and me highlighting how similar it is to other Align models, we've got the tail gearbox assembly here um, that goes at the front of the torque tube drive in the frames. And this is exactly as you would expect to see on a T-Rex 500 except scaled up a bit or on a T-Rex 600. Uh, scaled down a bit. In fact this may even be the same size as the T-Rex 600 gearbox uh, or even the same as the 600 gearbox but you can see the styling is is very very similar. Uh, the same thing goes for the rotor head. You can see here this is the uh, main head block and the flybar seesaw and upper mixer arms and this is exactly as you would expect to see on a 500 or a 600 or a 700. A line haven't modified the design at all here. And then you come onto something like the main shaft here and then you see some real differences. So you can see that on the main shaft they've gone for the shim in the middle of the shaft instead of uh, using collars to lock things down you've got this middle shim like the T-Rex and this was originally seen on the T-Rex 700. Uh, and then at the bottom here again they've gone for a, uh, a wider piece to the bottom of the gear and a large shim which the main gear uh, sits at the bottom here and then this shim here basically braces it against the various uh, bearing blocks. So th uh, this is a change, uh, something different. And this is actually the only real big difference I could find in the kit um, from the sort of standard way that a line sets out and, and uh, manufactures and designs their kits. So the main shaft is is the uh, the main difference. Okay so I pulled out one side frame. You can see it's very similar design to the T-Rex 500 on the side frame. The servos sit two at the front and one at the back and are directly connected to the swash plate so you don't have any bell cranks or any of that sort of thing. Uh, in the way exactly the same as the T-Rex 500 
and then you've got the sloped battery tray that sits at the front and then you've got your bottom plate which goes across the whole bottom of the machine there that one there I think that's plastic on the T-Rex 500 but uh, a carbon plate for the 550 and then I've also pulled out again just to highlight where things are the same the tail gearbox and you can see this is you know, bog standard 600, 700, 500 design from uh, an Align model. Okay, canopy. So let me just pull back a bit so you can see this canopy. Okay, so this is the uh, T-Rex 500, sorry, T-Rex 550 E canopy. And this is a pretty tidy looking canopy, very nice paint job on it, uh, and obviously new. Um, designed specifically for the 550E. It's quite narrow as well when you look down the uh, centre of it, it's quite narrow and I think uh, it's possibly going to be quite tight on the main gear uh, when this is fitted to the machine. But a uh, very nice paint job, very very uh, sporty looking canopy. Okay and the last thing I'm going to mention in this quick overview Again, unique to the 550E, brand new blade size. This is the Align 520 millimeter blade, specifically produced for the 550E. And this is quite a short blade for the 600M motor. So you know, again, talking about power of the machine on 6S, this isn't a particularly large blade. There should be bags of power uh, on this model using that 600M motor and the 6S pack. These are nice and stiff, typical uh, Align carbon blade, nice and stiff, plenty of torsional stiffness, uh, should be quite a good stick banger 3D type blade.